Yoshihide Suga called Xi Jinping after calling six state heads and she still shamelessly prostrated before him. Prime Minister of Japan called on to the world leaders and the most interesting part of this exercise was the minuscule importance which was given to Japan's largest neighbor, China. Suga called Chinese President Xi Jinping only after calling six other world leaders. Even after getting treated so badly, Beijing shamelessly coordinated with Tokyo for a visit by Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. The order in which a head of state calls his or her counterparts just after taking on their role emphasizes the importance conferred to the fellow countries in bilateral terms. At a time when China thinks itself to be the second most powerful country in the world, getting a call at seventh position from the newly appointed Japanese Prime Minister is a clear insult of China. Before Xi Jinping, Suga called Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, US President Donald Trump, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, South Korean President Moon Jae-in, and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the exact order. Xi Jinping's absurd imperialist designs and objectives placed China in such a compromising position that it has become isolated on all fronts, making enemy with everyone but Pakistan is not a strategy any sane country would ever make. Even after getting snubbed openly by Suga, Xi Jinping has prostrated in front of Japan by remaining silent on the Suga administration even while Japan is hosting Quad Ministerial Meet. In addition to that, Beijing is also trying hard to make the visit of Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi to Tokyo a success. Xi Jinping's overly aggressive foreign policy and apparent attempts on neo-colonialism in small countries has forced the world to move away from China, examples being India, the USA, Canada and many countries in the European Union among others. In such a vulnerable situation, Beijing cannot afford to lose Japan as their trading partner. Japan is the third largest trading partner of China, it being 20% of Japan's total trade in 2019, as the Japanese government is encouraging its companies to move their manufacturing bases out of China Xi Jinping's Chinese dreams will be shattered just as they aim to clock a GDP growth rate of 5% per annum. As Japan in the ministerial level quad meet emphasized on the issues of East and South China Sea, it became clearer why Suga called all the quad members before dialing Beijing. Yoshihide Suga called Prime Minister Modi before Xi Jinping and it emphasizes on the fact that although China is a bigger economic and trade partner of Japan, India is a larger geostrategic partner of Japan's in the Indo-Pacific. Even in the face of all these open signals and apparent provocations with Quad meeting criticizing China without naming it, Xi Jinping, for all the portrayal of alpha male persona, had to get on his knees, shedding all the shame just so that Japan may not destroy the Chinese economy. As per a Global Times op-ed, China has embodied its responsible image on the international stage and added that Japan, India and Australia are aware of the US's unreliability, for example, breach of promises, flouting international rules and ignoring international obligations. Even in the article, it shied away from provocating Japan as China is still hopeful of pulling Suga in their camp. The Chinese are ignoring all the signs that Suga is sending out against them. China is now in a corner and it knows the world will rain punches on it after the pandemic is over. Thus, in its vulnerability, China is adamant on trying anything to pull Japan to its side and is shamelessly kowtowing to Japan.